Hey guys, what's up? I told you I would be back. So I originally was filming this video for my Spanish channel because it was requested, but I thought why not do it in English? You can never get enough of lip swatches, right? Especially ColourPop where, you know, they're like huge these past couple years. So before I talk your ear off, we're going to go straight into lip swatches. I lost my train of thought for a second there. We're going to go straight into lip swatches. I have four of the Ultra Matte collection and I have some from when like they first first launched and then I have one or two from like their recent launches like their formula because I know from what I understand their formula has changed a little bit like you'll see. And I also have um, lip swatches of three of their ultra satin lipsticks. So if you guys would like to learn a little bit more about ColourPop lipsticks like each color individually, I will be doing a talk over each lip color as I swatch it. Then keep on watching so you can see those lip swatches. We're going to start off with the Ultra Matte Collection and I'm going to put on a little bit of my Best Damn Lip Mask because for whatever reason when these colors first launched the formula was a lot more drying than it is now. Specifically Trap I feel like it emphasizes the lines on your lips a lot more. So using a chapstick and in my case my Best Damn Lip Mask it smooths it out a lot nicer so you don't see those emphasized crack lines. Trap is a really pretty color. It's definitely more on the cool side but I still recommend it if you're more on the yellow or olive tone spectrum of skin shades because it still looks really really pretty you can manipulate it with a darker lip liner but nonetheless I still really like it even though it's cool toned Alrighty, this next shade is called Bianca, and Bianca swatches nicely on the hand. It's more of like a dusty pink color, a little bit more vibrant. I don't like this color on me specifically, so I hardly wear it. I'll basically just focus it on the center of the lips, or I'll do like a darker lip liner, um, because it's too light, I feel. It looks like that powdery donut look. It looks fine on camera, but... In real person like it's not that cute so anyway it applies evenly but once it dries oh my god it is so bad like I'm trying to show you guys here and I'm about to zoom in how much it cracked it's really really bad you'll probably have to do some chapstick underneath here or a lip liner but it's all right it's a pretty pink but you'll have to work with this one moving right along to beeper this one is my most recent collection from their ultra matte collection I've been wanting this color forever and there are no regrets when it comes to this color this is definitely your very popular mauvey pink color similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills Allison or Stila's liquid lipstick and patina this one's very comfortable applies really evenly goes great with any colors combination as far as your makeup I feel like this one will be awesome on all skin types highly 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 recommend beeper like I mentioned very comfortable now also K is a very comfortable color this one's from the Karouche I don't know how to say her name collection I'm pretty sure it's still around but it's a very pretty chocolate brown color now I thought this was going to be a dupe for Kylie Jenner's true brown K lips liquid lipstick set which I was able to get a hold of in the time that I bought this one so I bought it thinking it was a dupe but definitely they are very different just so you know but it's also a very beautiful and comfortable color I highly recommend it I think it would look great on all skin tones as well Moving on to my favorite collection of the lipsticks from ColourPop, which is the Ultra Satin collection. And we're going to be swatching Frickin' Frack first. This one also is similar to Beeper, but a lot deeper. This one I find that I reach for a lot too if I don't really know like what lip color to wear with my makeup or if I'm not wearing a lot of like eyeshadow. This is a statement on its own. This collection is not completely matte, but it is long wearing in my opinion. It is Super, super comfortable. I really love this color. It's definitely more on like the pink side, but it's not a very bright pink. This next color is called Tool. This one is super beautiful too. I feel like this one kind of mimics Veronica from Anastasia, but it's still very unique on its own. I had forgotten how much I love this color. I do feel like this color is a little different from when I initially bought it just because it's been sitting there. So make sure to stir them up and it'll, you know, it'll be like brand new. This next color is called Tansy. I bought this also thinking it'd be super similar to Cork. It is not. It is not a dupe. I repeat, it is not a dupe even though everyone and their mom says it is. Not a dupe. Cork is one of a kind. But this color is very pretty. It's a really nice and warm brown color. So if you've been looking for that really nice kind of almost mustardy warm brown, then you will like Tansy. We're back. I'm not going to tuck your ear off a whole lot because ColourPop has blown up 
everywhere for the past two or three years now but let's break them down super super quickly what we just talked about so four of the ultra matte which is their obviously ultra matte they're gonna have a matte finish they are no joke when they say that as you saw in the swatches the lip swatches the formula has improved from my first initial purchase of trap all the way to beeper beeper is a lot more comfortable in my opinion than trap and i have three of the ultra satin which are also six dollars as you guys saw in the demonstration i did do a little bit of my best down lip mask underneath it's major major key if I want to wear some of these colors because they are so matte that I feel like they dry so quickly that they emphasize the cracked lines in my lips which most of the time I don't even have like I can pride myself in not having chapped lips shout out to best damn beauty but these lipsticks for whatever reason specifically trap will do that to me but I put this on right underneath trap so you couldn't see that in a demonstration because that's more true to how I actually wear it in real life. I will always do the best damn lip mask underneath. I only do a little bit because I do want it to be long lasting. I do find that anything, not just because it's best damn beauty's lip mask, but any chapstick underneath will kind of alter the formula a little bit. So just make sure you're using enough to give you hydration, but not enough to like completely change the formula if you guys know what I mean. Although I freaking love the colors from the Ultra Matte line, it's amazing. You can probably find a dupe from any other high-end liquid lipsticks in the ColourPop Ultra Matte collection. My favorite formula of their lippies are the Ultra Satin. I feel like they're a super, super great balance between like matte and not matte. They're matte enough to where they're adhering to your lips really nicely, so we have a good wear time of these lipsticks. Now with these, I don't wear any chapstick, my best in lip mask underneath. I think it's more than enough with whatever's in these little bad boys, and I really like each of these colors I do feel though that for whatever reason if you don't wear them for a while you have to mix them up because the color kind of changes like I feel like I think what color is it tool was not the color that it is now when I first got it so just keep that in mind now that we're talking about like the color of the liquid lipsticks also do your research. I really hope my hand swatches and then my lip swatches helped because as you guys saw, sometimes the lip swatch differs from the hand swatch and vice versa. Also, if you are a different skin tone, undertone, things will pull a lot differently on you. I initially bought Bianca, one of the matte lips, because I was like, that's freaking gorgeous. It's a beautiful pink, but on my skin tone, it's way different than all the swatches I saw online. But big, big high fives to ColourPop for also including dark to like medium and light skin tone swatches on their website that is amazing if you go to their website as well they will give you like lip recommendations alongside a lippy which is one of their like lip pencils and those i've heard great things about my sister loves the lip um pencils you guys know one of my favorite favorite products ever is the amaze eyeshadow and it's from ColourPop. so i definitely like ColourPop as a brand i just feel like the ultra mattes are still a work in progress but ColourPop, you're getting there, you're getting there, you're doing great. They're only $6 and they're not bad at all. So I think that's all that there is to cover about these lipsticks from ColourPop. I do recommend them at the end of the day. They're $6 and all it takes really to make them work better is to do a lip liner underneath or a little bit of chapstick. So in my book, that's totally worth $6. So I would definitely, definitely recommend going to their website, signing up for their email list, getting that $5 off. Girl, you know you want that money off. And of course, I've got to mention, if you guys want to try out the Best Damn Lip Mask, highly 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 recommend it I've been talking about this basically since it launched then make sure to bestdambeauty.com I will leave my coupon code in this video and down below as well it'll give you 20% off not just the lip mask but anything off of best damn beauty so that's it you guys that is all I hope this was nice short and sweet and to the point thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe what are you doing subscribe down there and I will see you guys with another video very soon. Bye.